Welcome to the weights room at Patterson Stadium. The boys and I spend a lot of time down here, so we're very interested in what's going on with the new stadium. So I thought I'd ask the man at the top, Colin Barnett. Hi Daniel, nice How to be down here. So what's been going on since we launched the stadium? Well, a lot's happening and um, this is a long-term project, but uh, where we're at now is the exact site of the new stadium's been selected. It's the northern nine of the, the golf course at Burswood. Um, a company, international group called Populous has been appointed and what they're doing now is, is working out the exact definition of the stadium and by that I mean uh, the size of the seats, uh, the facilities for players, the facilities for the public uh, and this is going to be terrific. This is going to be the most modern advanced stadium in Australia so that's the stage we're at. That will be finished by mid-year and then architects will be appointed to actually design the detail of the stadium. And then all going well, um, 2018, first game, hopefully the Eagles versus the Dockers will be in the new stadium. This stadium has been designed first and foremost for fans and uh, the facilities will be terrific. Um, 60,000 seater to start with, eventually 70,000. Uh, really excellent cover so people won't get wet watching the game. Um, they'll have uh, electronic uh, technology through it so you'll be able to sit at your seat and order a drink or order some food. There'll be big screens. There'll be uh, what is known as barbecue area so you'll be able to walk up behind the seats and go into big flat open areas where there'll be food and beverage. Uh, you can mix around, you can stand there and watch the football if that's what you want to do. So the facilities will be all designed around the, the fans. And, and I guess the difference uh, compared to Subiaco, Subiaco you turn up and you watch a game of football. At Burswell it will be a total entertainment complex so people will come before the game, during the game and stay after the game. How important is it for you to have ticketing available for the general public, not just members of both football clubs? Yeah look at 60,000 uh, capacity compared to 42 at, at uh, Subiaco there will be a lot more seating so there will be tickets that people will be able to buy because I think we've got to accept the reality, uh, many people uh, only want to go to perhaps two or three games a year or perhaps that's all they can afford to do so we're going to cater for that and we'll also cater for visiting teams, this will be important for tourism so for example a big Victorian side like a Collingwood or a Hawthorne may well bring over three or four thousand fans for a big game here so we'll make sure that they've got reasonable seating not just stuck down behind the goals. Will the development be similar to the development around Dockland Stadium in Melbourne? Uh, yeah, look, there'll be similarities. Um, the major reason for selecting Burswood over Subiaco was that Burswood is a state government owned site. Uh, there's uh, something like 100 ac acres available. So the stadium will be the centrepiece, but around it will be other sporting and entertainment facilities like an amphitheatre, perhaps a, a water playground, areas for bands to play. And another feature of this stadium is that the electronics will be spectacular. So when the Eagles play, the stadium will be blue and gold. When the Dockers play, the stadium will be purple. When you play each other, you'll have to sort it out between you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much for your time. And it's good to play. Okay, and good luck for the season, mate. Thanks yes, very much. Good start to the year.